Hello, on this video I will talk on the hard disk drives, in short HDD. Um, when we talk about the storage, we uh, basically talk about the persistent storage, but when we talk about the um, memory, uh, we are talking usually of the uh, volatile memory, such as main memory, RAM, uh, random access memory. Um, when we say hard disk drive, so this disk connected uh, either internally or externally to the system via interfaces such as the uh, USB and some other connectors. And so this, uh, this can be accessed by systems to read or write data. And so this can also be combined to achieve greater speed than each disk could individually provide. And when we talk, when we, we will talk about um, RAID uh, later on, um, so this can be combined to protect against um, one or more disk failures. Okay, hard disk drives uh, is good place to begin discussion on storage. Um, so hard disk drives have been in use for computer systems for uh, decades. And principles behind their basic operation remain largely unchanged. And also, uh, there is solid state drive, and these are more recent. Um, but um, although uh, they use different system to store the data, uh, but it has not replaced the hardest drives. So they are both uh, in use uh, today. Um, Originally, the term hard disk drive was used to differentiate the rigid, inflexible metal drive from floppy disk. So, in the floppy disk, uh, this um, the circular one was uh, flexible. Um, okay, uh, okay, but hard disk drive term remains. Um, hard disk drives physically compose of platters heads and spindle and also actuator arm uh, and they are all uh, sealed in a rectangular container they are either 3.5 or 2.5 inches wide and here we see in this picture we have spindle in the center and this one is the actuate, actuator arm on top of it uh, we have a head okay uh, that is read or write um, so so we have platter and then also we have a uh, track all right and then sector in each track um, okay so controller uh, board interface uh, right here um, so if you open hard disk drive the first thing you notice is a stack of round off surfaces known as platters okay and platters uh, made of thin but rigid sheets of uh, aluminium glass or ceramic the platters are covered on uh, both the top and the bottom uh, within a thin coating um, the majority of drives contain two or three platters providing four or six usable surfaces uh, for storing data okay so uh, as you see here it says two or three platters uh, providing uh, four or six usable surfaces so that indicates that each platter has two surfaces one at the top one at the bottom actually it depends how you uh, look at that um, all right so spindle uh, is in the middle so as hard disk drive has multiple uh, platters okay uh, connected to a rod called spindle and the spindle uh, rotates uh, at a consistent rate uh, by the spindle motor uh, spindles commonly spin at uh, 7200 um, actually not there is also uh, 5400 as well so 5400 7200 and so these are more common in uh, personal computers uh, on the data centers you there, there are 
1000 or 15000 rotations so rpm rotations per minute um, okay so rpm is the determining factor in the rotational latency um, so that is an it's a important disk performance metric um, okay so full rotational latency is the amount of time it takes to turn uh, uh, 360 degrees um, okay so of course if the rpm is higher then the speed of the hard disk is faster okay and cylinder hard disk drives are organized into series of concentric rings similar to rings on a tree so each ring is called cylinder so here we look at the track so let's say um, the I so let me see um, hard disk uh, so this figure shows hard disk um, flatters and the tracks that make up cylinder zero okay so imagine that the numbers of the tracks starts from zero so so this track let's say zero one two for the the first platter on the top and then we have another platter and another platter and uh, so because the actuator arm when reads the head uh, looks at this first track on the first platter and the first track in the second platter and first track in the third platter so all of these three tracks so track here and track zero here and track zero here and all of them uh, makes the cylinder okay so uh, so when we say cylinder zero actually um, we are looking for multiple platters at the same time okay so imagine that we have th three platters and if there are let's say just for the uh, sake of simplicity let's say there are 10 tracks in each platter okay um, so we have so there are three platters so how many surfaces six surfaces because each uh, platter has two surfaces so three platters six surfaces uh, and on each surface if there are 10 tracks that means there are 60 tracks in this hard disk drive uh, but how many cylinders uh, so i'm sorry so 60 tracks okay uh, on one surface we have 10 uh, tracks so in this hard disk drive there are 10 cylinders okay 10 cylinders um, so you consider the number of cylinder uh, uh, is the same as number of tracks on one surface okay so i hope this is um, clear and also we have um, so sectors so on each track we have multiple sectors however the number of sectors uh, might differ from track to track because uh, the tracks on the uh, the tracks which are closer to the spindle which is the center has a smaller amount of storage area so uh, in those areas you have less number of sectors okay and also as you uh, can imagine the uh, the tracks which are closer to the center uh, moves slower than the tracks uh, outer side okay so this part uh, moves faster so that's why the data that needs high read and write uh, performance uh, they are stored in the tracks that are outer side of the surfaces okay um, so you can read this one uh, by yourself i think i explained this already yes so i also explained this part and head so i also explained it 
um, what else? Okay, I think I explained all of this. Um, okay, I explained it. And here, um, this one, the drive, disk, and disk with a C, okay? So they are all used interchangeably, but there are some uh, difference. Hard drive refers to the physical container that houses the hard disk and it includes all the processors connections to run the disk. And this term is also used to describe external hard drive. So which is a case that contains the drive itself. Okay. And hard disk with a K at the end. So this is the storage medium uh, which the data is stored. So typically the, this term refers to the magnetic platters within the hard drive, okay? But it is also used when discussing solid state memory. Even though SSDs are composed of just memory chips, so there, there is no magnetic platters, but because SSD perform the same function as the spinning, spinning platter disk, which means a persistent storage, the term hard disk has stuck for any electronic storage in in a computer, okay? So when we say hard disk, uh, we don't necessarily just talk about the hard disk drive. So SSD uh, can be also understood with this. However, disk with a C at the end describes optical media such as CD, compact disk, DVD, and so on, okay? And some of the specification dimensions, hard, hard drive dimensions, uh, that is how big they are. So they are usually uh, 2.5 or 3.5. Uh, that refers to the diameter. Uh, of course, diameter, not the drive case. Okay. Um, all right. So these are the ones. And rotation speed. Um, so uh, rotations per minute. So 5400. 7200, uh, these are very uh, common, but in the uh, data center environment, so you have uh, 1000, 15000 RPMs as well. And okay, so this also explains some of the prices here. Uh, and then also I put uh, a few videos here, uh, so you can uh, watch. And this is all and have a nice day.